Are you completely pissed off by seeing individual astrology videos on Saturn? Hmm. Are you seeing astrology videos on Saturn in the first house, second house, this nakshatra, that nakshatra for this ascendant, that ascendant, this zodiac sign, this moon sign, this sun sign? Hmm. Saturn in D1, D9, D10. Are you completely exhausted and you still can't figure out where is your Saturn and what is he doing? You know your Saturn is in a particular place, but you have no idea if he's well placed. Exalted, debilitated, or is he sleeping? <laughs> if you are completely clueless about your Saturn, and if you have, uh, for example, an exalted Saturn, so for example, your Saturn is a Libra, but still you, you don't see good results, or your Saturn is in Aries, and you see good results, so you're confused, you know, what the hell is going on with Saturn? So then... You are in the right place today because we are going to discuss our 10 things which indicate 10 indications of having a very good Saturn. Okay, so if you have all these 10 things, then you know that wherever your Saturn is, however, he's placed, exalted, debilitated, or either ways, doesn't matter. But he's well placed at the end. So there are some astrological factors which is contributing to the a uh, good uh, powerful Saturn to a good power good and powerful Saturn a well-placed Saturn and if these factors are not there then uh, even if your Saturn is apparently well-placed then there are some issues you know with nakshatra lords or in the divisional charts all right so after hearing all this please let me know down in the comments which one of these do you have and what are other some good indications of a powerful saturn that you have seen in people's lives okay and as usual if you're new then please subscribe to the channel and if you haven't yet uh, seen my other videos on saturn you will find them in my saturn playlist i have a playlist on saturn all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him for sure and for consultations you will find my website down in the description section all right let me go to my notes what is the first this is classic and this is this is the easiest way to know if your saturn is well placed or not easiest i mean there is no other way to know if your saturn is well placed that is if you are dependable or not all right so do you have two things in yourself do you have integrity and do you have accountability okay so if you have integrity and if you are accountable, then people will actually uh, want to be with you. They would like to do business with you. They would like to uh, be in relationship with you, not as a lover, but overall, you know, as friends or family or whoever, they would always like to be in your association. You know, so one thing is to uh, say what you do and to do what you say. So if both the things are there, then you know your Saturn is very well placed. And a person who does not have integrity and accountability cannot be well respected in society. They cannot be dependable and they will eventually lose out on people and contact. So if you feel that you do not have a good Saturn or you do not have integrity, you do not have accountability, then try to cultivate these habits. Okay, so for example... If you say something, then do it. And if you do something, then say it. Okay, so please do it or else there's no use of having a Saturn in the chart. Okay, number two, you let your work speak. Saturn is the Karaka for the 10th house of work. So you let your work speak. Okay, so if your Saturn is strong, then your work will speak for you, speak itself. Now, what does it mean? Speak itself. It doesn't mean you don't have to do any marketing or sales or something like that. But you will be so good at your work that people will people will make people will give you free marketing, you know, word of mouth marketing. If your craft is excellent, then it shows your Saturn is very strong. Now, this is not just a a trait of a good Saturn, this is also a good trait of Mercury. But Mercury can make a person uh, very informative. Not necessarily a person who uh, makes uh, his work speak, okay. 
But of course, along with a good Saturn, a good Mercury will surely help this, okay? So therefore, if your Saturn is good, then you should, uh, you should be naturally letting your work speak. And does it happen that you know, people come and praise you for your work, you know, in general, you know, like uh, not for any event or deadline, but in general, you know, they say, oh, you are very professional, you know, you do things properly, you do things well, you know, you you are dependable, basically, the same factor, you know, uh, uh, but uh, if you are dependable, then, you know, your work will speak, okay, J but just being dependable may not mean that your work speaks, but this is something much more, you know, you are so uh, you 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 are doing things so well that you you just don't uh, be dependable by you know getting deadlines done but you go the extra mile okay because for that you need hard work and that only happens if saturn is there well placed all right number three you do not beat around the bush you maintain complete honesty okay so for example if your saturn is well placed then what happens if somebody gives you a task you are honest and you say oh this is something which is beyond my beyond my capacity or they may say oh i will give you five days for this you may say no no I, five days is not sufficient for this no i need 10 days or 20 days or i can't do this at all okay or if somebody thinks you need 10 days you will still say no i can do this you know in two to three days i don't need 10 10 days for this so there is some level of good honesty that you maintain and this is very important because um, otherwise you know people can't depend on you uh, you are beating around the bush you know giving stories making excuses all the time okay so therefore uh, complete honesty is required and this is primarily from a professional standpoint but it also holds true in uh, generic areas of your life okay otherwise uh, hmm Saturn is not very well placed in your chart, all right? Now, number four, this is huge. This is this is brilliant, I'm telling you, you know. This is also, I think, after point number one, this point number four is most important, okay? Which is, you take responsibility for your own mistakes, okay? So, if Saturn is well placed, you will take responsibility for your own blunders. Should I say mistakes or other errors or maybe blunders? <laughs> uh, there are people who, see, there are three things. You know, one is error, one is mistake, and then there's a blunder. <clears throat> okay, so in Kali Yuga, people don't even take responsibility for their blunders. What to speak of mistakes and errors. So if you have done a mistake, then you should be saying that yes this is my fault i will try not to repeat it this is my mistake and i take full responsibility again the point number one it says is similar okay you are accountable you you have integrity okay so if you if you take responsibility then what happens is people understand that you are a genuine person and they want to associate themselves more with you okay otherwise uh, if you don't take responsibility, if you're always, you know, pushing the, what, what, what do they say, pushing the buck, right? Um, then uh, people can't trust you because they say, okay, if, some, if, if you fail, then you'll blame somebody else, okay? So uh, this is primarily uh, true with narcissistic people. You will see them, people who are very narcissistic they will always blame somebody else okay they will blame their spouse they'll blame their you know parents childhood trauma or whatever some 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 fancy thing like you know sometimes they will also blame the government okay they will blame the country they will blame the uh neighbors and at the end they blame god right <laughs> so um if you have a good saturn then you take full responsibility for your mistakes otherwise you just uh, keep uh passing the buck okay and number five this does not need any introduction this is something which you might have thought would be point number one but could be point number zero also <laughs> which is you know you have a lot of discipline in your life you know you you get up at a specific time you you know work uh, in a specific time you know you sleep at a specific time so you do not have you know like uh, super erratic schedules okay sometimes there could be some issues uh, which is uh, but natural but uh, 
uh, you don't have like, you know, super erratic schedules where it's like, okay, today I sleep at 10, tomorrow I sleep at 2. <laughs> okay. Uh, today, today I get up at, you know, uh, 5.30, tomorrow at 3.30 and then the next day I get up at 2 in the afternoon. Okay, so if this is how your life is, if your life is this erratic, it's, it's this uh, disastrous, then you need to have discipline. Okay, so you know, one of the easiest ways to cultivate discipline is to take it slow. So, for example, if you want to cultivate discipline to go to the gym for example then if you suddenly commit i will go to the gym every day it will not work so first you should commit you know i will go to the gym once in three days okay so for one month you commit every week two times you will go to the gym okay initially you can say okay i will go once a week then twice okay then you can say okay i may go also thrice okay and then it's up to you. you want to go four times five times you know uh, alternate days that that that's a separate discussion but uh, it's like that so even with sleeping you can put a limit on yourself that you know uh, three times a week i will i will sleep at maybe you know nine maybe ten or whatever that you decide but make a plan uh, have discipline uh, take it slow uh, gradually increase the frequencies and then stick to it okay very 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 important okay number six you organize and structure things appropriately you 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 are a master of priority management so <clears throat> if your saturn is well placed in the chart you will know how to prioritize things depending on their urgency you know there's this block you know urgent uh important uh not urgent not important you know we know that quadrant is there right so uh, depending on that you can actually prioritize your tasks okay so for example <clears throat> uh, some tasks are urgent and very important so that's something you have to do very uh, very quickly you have to finish them okay otherwise you are in trouble okay but nonetheless uh, a good saturn see saturn gets exalted in libra which means a good saturn means you are balanced in life Okay, so you, you don't put all energies into your profession or into your health or, you know, uh, or, or, or you don't take all energies away from your health and profession and just, you know, indulge in luxury. So if your Saturn is good, then you will have a balance. You will, as they say, you know, dharma, artha, kama, moksha, balance will be there. Okay, you will sleep uh, six to seven hours, you know, you will... Um, do dhar dharma you will do religious activities you will and here dharma just does not mean religious activity it can be you know some morning schedule some spiritual practices you know going to the gym in improving yourself that's basically uh dharma in context of saturn okay so then we have artha which is profession then kama is there which is you know your relationships and pleasures so a good saturn will keep all these things balanced okay um, a bad Saturn will wreck havoc, you know, suddenly you will feel, oh, I will give all my time to this or that, you know, that's not very healthy. Number seven, you do not procrastinate. Now, of course, everybody does this to some extent, but if your Saturn is badly placed, you will do it perpetually. It's like, you know, there's no end to it. So, therefore, if you want to improve your Saturn, then you have to stop procrastination. Otherwise, uh, very difficult you know, because you, you, you will feel that uh, it is uh, it's very easy to procrastinate so so why do people do procrastination it is because it's like taking the easy way out because see where, when you procrastinate something what is happening is the issue is according to you the issue is not very urgent or even if the issue is urgent you don't feel it's urgent. That is why you delay it till the end, right? Uh, now, because of that, you know, you have to pay later, right? Because suppose uh, there's some health issue in your body and you are not oh, uh, solving that, then you will you will perpetually, you know, try to do something else and, you know, you will try to, you know, not visit the doctor maybe or not make the dietary changes or not take medicine. So next time when you are forced to address it, you will have to address it with interest. 
Okay, so therefore, you have to understand something uh, in context of Saturn. So, uh, if your Saturn is good, then you will address it appropriately, not immediately. You may not address. So, suppose there is some problem, it doesn't mean you will just address it immediately. You will, you will put it into your schedule. You will have a calendar slot. You will, you will make time for it. Okay. Otherwise, uh, you need to know that this will be. Uh, this will be something which you will regret later okay so therefore if you do not procrastinate as i said somebody will people will always do but you know one one thing is like you know doing it perpetually so if you don't do perpetually and you take responsibility you do things then your saturn is much more well placed okay number eight this is classic okay very 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 important Number one, four, and eight. Very, very, very important. Number eight is you do the hard tasks before. Okay, so for example, uh, many people tell me that they want to chant mantras or go to the gym, you know, like, or sometimes even make YouTube videos. So among, among all the activities in a person's life, I've seen, you uh, Number one is very difficult. Uh, number one activity that's most difficult is chanting mantras. Okay. Then second is going to the gym or doing yoga and all this. Very difficult. It takes a lot of efforts to <clears throat> uh, get it done. Okay. Um, otherwise, it is it, it can wreak havoc sometimes. Okay. It, it can put you off your schedules for way, way, way long time. Okay. <clears throat> so therefore uh, you have to understand that if you want to do something substantial in life the first thing you have to do in the morning you know as the scriptures encourage go and take a cold water bath very 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 important i have said it a thousand times also in my moon remedies video i have said this okay so take a cold water bath very difficult then do some spiritual practices, you know, chanting mantras or whatever, reading the Vedic scriptures, you know, or any scripture that you uh, identify yourself with. So now then do do some exercise if uh, that is required or, you know, uh, some, 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 some physical activity at least. Do these two things initially. If you don't do these two, these three things, then it will get delayed. You will see, you know, your... You, you may not take bath till 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so this gets delayed. Your chanting gets delayed. Your gym gets delayed. Okay. It's the same with work also. So when you start to work, you know, you you we have a tendency to do the easy things first. Okay. Like, for example, uh, responding to emails, you know, not very difficult. Many people tell me, oh, I, I love to respond to all my emails in the beginning. Okay, so that's not a very good idea. Of course, it depends on who is sending the email or what the priority of the email. But in general, you know, if you are, you should do core work. Most important work should be done earliest, at the earliest. Okay, then later on, you can keep doing other things which are not very important. But from 9 to 12 in your work, you, you should do the most important, most difficult task. Okay. Otherwise, that's problematic. Number nine, you make in, you make informed decisions. Okay. Informed decisions means you weigh your pros and cons properly and then you make a decision. Otherwise, if Saturn is badly placed, you can make decisions in a lot of haste and, you know, um, without doing proper like you know cost analysis you know pros cons you don't see you, you you just you just see something and you do it okay that's very bad because if you do that then you cannot weigh because libra is the sign where saturn gets exalted again what is libra libra is weighing okay so you weigh what is good what is bad to, what is good for you in this situation okay so for example <laughs> you are seeing a video or somebody is making a video you know how to retire by the age of 40 but that person may be earning you know like fifty thousand dollars a month but you don't know that you think oh that person is also doing some job like me so i can also retire now you may be able to retire but 
you may not be able to retire if you are not earning at the level of that person right you may have to work till 50 or even 60 or 70 or 80 who knows so you make uh, you you take blunder you do blunders without keeping the context in mind okay so your your choice of decisions uh, is not very good okay you you make bad decisions okay because you are either not in you are like misinformed or you're not informed at all and who has to inform you you yourself okay nobody is going to come and inform you number 10 you plan for alternatives and you are flexible so if saturn is well placed you will be flexible okay and you will think about plan b plan c and plan d so suppose i have to go from here to there <coughs> something i have to achieve okay then if this doesn't work then what then there's another plan then there's another at least at least one backup should be there okay so if you have proper necessary backups not because you know you're pessimistic or you are uh, you are foolish but material world as you know is a place of misery so things can go wrong in the material world so therefore you need to understand that if your plans do not work then it can lead to a disaster so therefore plan for alternatives and be be very flexible okay be committed and flexible these this this combination is very rare people who are very flexible are not committed people who are committed are very stubborn okay so a good saturn will again give you balance when it's required you have to be stubborn and you have to be accountable you have to have integrity you have to be honest you have to be brutally true to the core but when there's flexibility required you have to be flexible okay otherwise you you lose out again okay so therefore i hope these 10 things helped you to see if your saturn is good or if they are bad okay irrespective of all the things in your chart all right so if you're new then please subscribe to the channel and thank you for uh, watching till the end and for consultations you can always go to my website down in the section uh, in the description section all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him for sure